What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. I am coming to you because we did not have a class on Saturday. We had a very special um, prayer service that Mano Juan and the prayer ministry organized. And so we took the liberty of actually having prayer service instead of classes. And we got together and it was amazing. Thank you for all the youth that participated and were also uh, there attending the prayer service because we already know prayer with our God is one of the most important things that we have and why not come together as a church to express that so I'm taking the chance with you guys just to have a one-on-one -on -one again because something's been dwelling in my heart and I know that some people might be struggling with the same thing so I myself have been struggling with faith not in the sense am I doubting myself or is there any doubts that come to mind because there is a lot of um, information out there that may dwindle your faith or make you double think something and especially if you go into studies and you see that some of the things that uh, that people actually start preaching or some people, some things that people actually declare are questionable and have an impact on your Christian walk. Now, personally, I always, when I do my reading and you hear about the disciples and you acknowledge that they actually are spiritually and the most faithful of all that's how i looked at him i i put him on a pedestal when it comes to my christian walk and i believe that's the wrong thing to do do the fact i put him on a pedestal because of their faith uh they walk with jesus they uh, they expel demons out of people they brought people back from the dead and also did many more other miracles and things that I can't do and if you read the Bible it says in Matthew 17 20 because you have so little faith truly I tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can say to the mountain move from here to here and it will move nothing will be impossible for you as you can see in the beginning it starts out because you have so little faith Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And I look at this passage and I'm like, man, these disciples and the followers of Jesus Christ at that time, man, they can bring do all these things because of their faith. And I can't do any of that. And I, that's why I, I um, looked up to them a lot and said, man, what type of faith do they have? And then I started using the argument, well, they had Jesus Christ right next to them. And so that helped them out a lot. And that showed them and they had pretty much the teacher right there face to face showing them uh, these things can be done with faith and faith alone. And that pretty much um, suppressed me a little bit and really uh, held me back from thinking how much faith, faith do I have in reality if I can't do these things and uh, how can I achieve this and somewhat it motivated me but yet it still um, it still uh, saddened me that I couldn't do these things but little by little on my Christian walk I noticed that I had the mind uh, not the right mentality of things that these things were placed in the bible for a reason and it's to motivate you and guide you and there was a eye opener that our pastor had and i would like to share with that with you so one day pastor helmer was up up on the pulpit preaching and he said something that stuck with me and i I thank God for revealing this to me because it's amazing when you uh, when you hear God's answer in the Word, and you can find this on John twenty nineteen. 
one evening of the first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for, for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. As you can see, so as you can see that you can find all the disciples all hiding behind locked doors due to the fact the Jewish leaders were starting their persecution against any of the of Jesus' followers and they didn't want to get caught up. This happens after the, um, the, crucifixion, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And you can tell that what happened to all that faith. They had the teacher throughout their lives. They gave up everything because they believed in them. And they saw miracles that Jesus has done. And they have done miracles in front of each other. And that faith, what happened to it? That's the question that I was asking myself. What happened to that strong faith that they had once Jesus was amongst them? And you, you can see that I felt relieved that these disciples are human too. After the death of Jesus Christ, they fell back to their normal ways. They fell back into fear. They fell back into doubt. And there comes Jesus to bring them back up, to enlighten them, and to say, get out of here. Go do what I told you to do. Uh, so it was motivation for me in saying that the disciples weren't anything special. They were human too. They just needed a, a, a boost. Sometimes we stumble as Christians and we, we lack some faith. And we need motivation too. And that's why we have the Bible as our motivator, just as Jesus Christ was their motivator in person. And that brought joy to my heart, knowing that there's no true measurement of faith. It's just faith alone. And no matter what society or people say or try to do to you, or even yourself with fear and just all these questions, don't let that ever deteriorate your faith or suppress your faith. Just know that God is there. God is true and God is real. Jesus is not a story just because he was in a book. There's a lot of proof of Jesus Christ being alive, being crucified, and coming back from the dead and resurrecting. There's a lot of information out there that proves that Jesus Christ is real and what you read in the book has happened and will happen in this world. I hope that you guys can use this to uh, really dig down deep inside of you and take anything that is holding you back from doing things. So if God said that if we can come to him and pray to him and ask for it with a humble heart and he'll give it to us, we'll be able to do anything in his name. And I strongly believe that. And if that's not faith, then I don't know what is. And I want to share this with you guys because it helped me out a lot and it kept motivating me to strengthen my faith in Jesus Christ and our Lord God. And that's found in John 20. As you know, out of the disciples, one wasn't a believer. After his friends have told him, hey, Jesus came back. Uh, which is his name was Thomas and finally Jesus came to him and showed him the holes and he put his hands in the holes and then that's when he declared Thomas said to him my Lord and my God then Jesus told him because you have seen me you have believed blessed are those who never seen me yet have believed and that motivates me because that falls into my category. I haven't seen him face to face in his human body, and yet I still believe. And I know you guys still believe. And let that be a motivator that nothing on this planet can break that faith, that you guys should keep on going, keep on striving, knowing that the word is truth. It's the word of God, the living word of God and that you should keep on digging down, keep on diving in the word and finding your faith in there. 
And other than that, I hope this helped you out because truly um, some of these questions do get stuck inside of me and like really do damage. And it's a blessing when I actually dive down in the word, actually listen to the pastor or whoever's preaching up there because every message is a message for you. And trust me, I know that. Um, but other than that, keep motivated, keep going youth. Just know that God is on your side. Nobody can stand against you with God with you. Now God bless, I love you guys. And don't forget to die from your old self, to live your new life and be regenerated. Peace.